question it is said that the self is beyond the mind and yet the realization is with the mind mind cannot think it it cannot be thought of by the mind and mind alone can realize it how are these contradictions to be re reconciled answer atman is realized with the mruta manas dead mind that is mind devoid of thoughts and turned inward then the mind sees its own source and becomes that the self it is not as subject perceiving an object when the room is dark a lamp is necessary to illumine the eyes to cognize objects but when the sun has risen there is no need of a lamp to see objects to see sun no lamp is necessary it is enough that you turn your eyes towards the self luminous sun similarly with the mind to see objects the reflected light of the mind is necessary to see the heart it is enough that mind is turned towards it then mind loses it itself and heart shines forth the essence of mind is only awareness or consciousness when the ego however dominates it it functions as the reasoning thinking or sensing faculty the cosmic mind being not limited by the ego has nothing separate from itself and is therefore only aware this is what the bible means by i am that i am when the mind perishes in the supreme consciousness of one's own self know that all the various powers beginning with the power of liking and including the power of doing and power of knowing will entirely disappear being found to be an unreal imagination appearing in one's own form of consciousness the impure mind which functions as thinking and forgetting alone is samsara which is the cycle of birth and death the real i in which activity of thinking and forgetting has perished alone is the pure liberation it is devoid of pramada forgetfulness of the self which is the cause of birth and death